Oh my. Oh my. Ah. Hello, beautiful souls. It is always an honor and a pleasure to be able to come into your space. And if you allow me a few moments of your time, I would like for you to take a moment, stop every Thing that you are doing and let's focus on your business your brand and your money it is money Monday and let me tell you something money Monday for me is really a money Monday I get up in the rising and I start my day by looking at my numbers, giving myself my own metrics and my own goals. I look at my goals from the week before and I get started on what needs to be done for my business and for my brand. And the number one thing that I learned and I had to go to I myself had to go to business school because I wanted to learn everything because I wanted to teach other women like me. I was going to events. I was trying to have events. I was giving people discounts. I was doing so many different things to try to get my business to move in a way that I know that it could move in a way that I know that it could do. I knew that it could do it. I knew it did but I did not know how. And what I hear people talk about so many different times is that their friends and family is not supporting them in business. And when they are not supporting them in business, they need it, honestly. They need it. You need the support of your friends and family. But I always share with my clients that when you want the support of your friends and family, what you need to do is first we need to teach them how to support us. And we don't want them to support us financially. I feel like as entrepreneurs, when we get from a place where we become, where we start as solopreneurs and we move into that space where we become entrepreneurs and we get to the place where we expand to goddess goddesspreneurs where we are out here co-creating with other people and we are out here in this space doing all the things that we are supposed to be doing as business owners it's that place where we get into alignment and the one thing that gets us out of alignment is our emotions both in our business and in our personal lives. And no matter how many times I have moved from life coaching to business coaching, I always found myself doing life coaching inside of business coaching, and I could never figure out why. And it was finally when I realized that, oh my God, the thing that college didn't teach me, the thing that some of my mentors did not teach me is that emotional alignment and where you are vibrating inside of this space is how you truly connect to what you want. And your vibrations come and go based off of your thoughts and where you are and your emotions. So there are three things that I have learned when I am dealing with my clients who really want to try to figure out what should I be doing to get more clients? What should I be doing to get more clients? What should I be doing to get more clients? And it's that place, it's that space, it's that space. It's it's always there, it's what should I be doing? And it is not figuring out how to get your friends and family to hear you. That's not the message. The message is that you have to learn how to brand and market. So in order to do that, you've got to start with what you may not know what may be harming you. And so, Number one, the number one tip is the number one rule in marketing is know who you are talking to. After years of being in business and starting to do research on what wasn't working, I started at the library and then I started following a few gurus and then I realized that so many people, especially women who look like me, did not know what we needed to do to grow a business. 
I decided to take it to the next level and I went back to college for marketing. And I did that because I needed to know all the steps to what I was doing wrong and how I could help other people. And when I finally got to college and I finally got to my very first marketing book, after being in MLMs for years, selling everything from houses to cars to cell phone service, the number one rule that I learned in marketing is you need to know who you are talking to. You need to know that customer. You need to know that customer deeply. You need to know them. And knowing who you are talking to matters. You can Google it anytime you want to. Serving everybody is serving nobody. If you Google, I want to serve everyone, I'll wait. It's going to share with you that you cannot possibly serve everyone. If that was possible, we'd all be doing a fantastic job of marketing and we wouldn't need to learn about marketing and branding at all. But that's not the case. There are small subsections of people that you need to know. And those important people are simply who you're talking to. And most of the time, I'm not going to tell you a lot. The person you're talking to is not your friends. It's not your family. The person you're talking to is you. You are talking to you. And sometimes that space where you get to know yourself as well as getting to know who you serve become one and you learn who you are talking to. And that's the number one thing that I teach my clients every single solitary day, every single solitary meeting. Who are you talking to? Why are you talking to them? What are you going to give them? What do they need to know? What do they want to know? How are you serving them? Okay. That's number one. That, I mean, that's number two. And finally, our number three tip, and it's always a doozy for me, is that perfectionism can look like, I don't want to do that. I see, specifically, I always see them on Instagram videos or TikTok videos. People who do okay, but they always say, I'm not going to niche down. I'm not going, going to cater to one market. I'm not going to cater to one demographic. I'm going to be who I want to be and I'm going to serve everyone. You think you are. But that's just not how it works. But the good news with that is you'll see that they are getting some movement. And that is because you can have multiple modalities and still be able to serve a subset of people. You can do multiple things and still be able to serve a subset of people. Okay. My biggest thing that I learned from going to college is that you go to college to learn exactly what you don't want to do. I've heard people say that so many times, and I'm going to tell you, it's one of the reasons why I would go and I would, and I would start and then I would stop because I, I would kind of want to do it and kind of not want to do it. I did not know 20 years ago that marketing was going to be my space, my niche. If I would, I would have never went to school for that 20 years ago. But now I know this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. So I'm grateful that I went to college at 32. And I say that because... It is this space inside of all this knowing that we know that we decide to do things like say, I don't want to do that in my business, even though people tell me I should. That sneaky thing, that's perfectionism. That's fear. That's fear of being judged. That's fear of the unknown, trying to learn how to do something that you're not sure you know how to do. And I'll be honest with you, the easiest way that I learned how to teach my students how to market to the person that they are meant to market to, to market to the personas, to market to the groups, the easiest way is to learn how to be fantastic storytellers. 
You see, if you can follow these three rules where you, number one, know that marketing is knowing who you're talking to. Number two, not wanting to expand to new customers or research customers is a sign of fear. And number three, perfectionism can look like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. We need to know this because it's in these spaces that we can work on ourselves, And it's in that space where we have great alignment with who we are that we get to that place where we can learn the things that we may not know right now. Because once I found my people, once I found my space, once I found the people who I was supposed to talk to, turns out, yes, I'm wonderful at marketing. I love marketing. I love that space. I help brands grow their marketing brand. Whether you want to have pre-made templates, whether you want to sit down one-on-one -on -one with me, or whether you want to come to our group coaching sessions, whatever you want to do, I can help you brand and market your business and turn your mess into a message, turn your story into something that looks like not just a survival mode, but a theory, but how other people can live in their lives. And I can do all this and I can share all these things with you now because I learned from my mistakes, because I learned that my friends and family needed to learn how to be in relationship with me in general before we could do things like exchange money. I learned that I wanted my friends and family not to support my business endeavors, but make sure to show up for the holidays with a good attitude and to make sure to be loving and kind and to call me for no reason but to say hello and not to borrow money and to want to spend time with my daughter. And I want my friends and family to do that and show up and support me there. And that is what support looks like in my business, showing up for me in my personal life so that I can feel strong enough to show up for myself in my business. Stop being in that place where you are blaming the people around you for not showing up for you in the business that was never, ever meant for them to be a customer. In. Instead, learn how to show up for yourself. Learn that you can show up for yourself if you learn how to brand, learn how to market, learn who your customer avatar is. And if you need any of that, you want to learn how to actually run the business, baby. You may be the talent. You may have all the talent in the whole world. But until you learn how to brand and master and market your business, that talent will not be seen because not enough people who need to see you will be able to. Listen, I am Octavia Harris, and I'm here to help you take your mess and turn it into a message. If you master your story and market it, oh, everything in life changes. And that change starts with you, not with your friends and family. I love you all. Thank you all for joining me. And I look forward to continuing this journey again. I'll see you all again tomorrow.